Hello, my name is Paul Jenkins. I'm Managing Director of UK Property Consultancy Hub, and today I'm joined by uh, Kenneth Barr, who's business, business Development and New Bolt Sales at Cullum Packaging. Welcome, Kenneth. Thank you, Paul. Thanks for having me. Um, so tell me a little bit about yourself so we can find out a bit more on how you got into packaging. Yeah, it's, um, it's not the sort of industry that everyone sets out to get into, I don't imagine. <laughs> uh, that's no different for myself. Um, I, I'm, I'm from Glasgow and I, I went to Strathclyde University and studied a degree in social sciences. Um, I originally started off in geography and finished off in, in politics, bizarrely enough. So I came out of university having studied politics and um, and it was at the time, to be honest, that it was just after the back of the, the first recession and there wasn't a lot of jobs about. And bizarrely enough, there was an opportunity in packaging which appeared in, uh, in, in packaging distribution. Um, as an assistant buyer, which was an opportunity I decided to take, mm -hmm. which was seven years ago now, and I've not really looked back. It's the sort of industry packaging that once you kind of get into it, um, a lot of people struggle to get back out of it, whether that's <laughs> a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. <laughs> um, I, in the, I worked in procurement, um, bizarrely enough, for you know, four and a half, five years in packaging distribution. Um, and then as recently as just over a year ago, I took the, the leap of faith over into, into, into sales and also into manufacturing, working for Cullen. Um, so I have covered quite a few different jobs in the industry and, and in different locations in both Scotland and England. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I quite enjoy it. It's, a, it's an industry where you get a lot of feedback from, from your customers, from your suppliers. Um, there's a lot of positive conversations on the go a lot of the time. There's always changing opportunities, changing markets, lots of innovation in our sector. So I think it keeps it quite exciting and, and that's, what, uh, that's what kind of drives me on. Okay, excellent. And tell me a bit about Cullen Packaging then. Yeah, so Cullen, for those of you who don't know, um, we're based in uh, the northwest of, um, of Glasgow in Scotland. Um, we are 99 years old. We're coming up for 100 next mm -hmm. year, which is excellent. And um, we are very much a family-run business. Um, we have manufactured for the, the Scottish uh, corrugate um, sector for for our entire existence um, and as recently as the sort of late 80s and into the early 90s we, we developed the, the, the molded fibre pulp section of our business. So traditionally what we what we kind of focus on um, certainly in Scotland is sort of multi-point wood work for the corrugate industry, mm -hmm. a lot of shop ready packaging and we supply a lot of corrugate into the supermarkets, the likes of uh, Waitrose and, and Morrisons and, and, and all the sort of uh, Marks and Spencers, a lot of the large supermarkets in the UK. Um, and we very much stick to what is our, which is, what is our strength, which is multi-point glued, four corner glued trays, six corner glued trays uh, and, and shelf ready boxes. So that's about about a third of our business to the corrugate side. And then the, the, the area that I kind of have more of an interest in, which is the molded pulp side of our business, uh, which is more about, about two thirds of our business. Um, we, we started off a long number of years ago, supplying into the NHS with the sort of um, sick bowls, urine bottles, sort of kidney dishes. Um, uh, you know that you'd be well aware of um, the over issue news of grey products. So the, the, the medical consumables is a large part of our business. It's our biggest sector um, for moulded pulp. Um, so we've been manufacturing for the NHS for a long number of years now, um, and that then obviously has grown into export as well for medical. So we export to kind of over thirty countries just now with medical products, um, uh, and it's been a, and it's been a fantastic sector for us. The kind of one that follows behind that has been almost as as important to us now as as produce. What you mm -hmm. kind of find in a lot of the supermarkets is that um, your likes of your avocado trays, your pear trays, plum trays, these sort of products, they all used to be sort of our pet trays. And there's been a massive switch, as you'll be well aware of, over to more sustainable alternatives. And, and we supply um, a, a vast amount of moulded pulp into the kind of supermarket sector. Um, as, a, as a direct alternative to plastic. Um, and just like the medical, we, um, we export to probably about 24, 25 countries. Um, a lot of Europe, a lot of South America, um, you know, a lot of um, Australasia, believe it or not, um, with, with produce products. So those two, medical and produce, are huge sectors for mm -hmm. us. Um, and then in terms of myself, I look after more sort of um, UK and Ireland and um, bespoke products and more of our stock lines. 
So we'll do a lot of um, fitments and, 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 and trays and, and, and solutions which are um, direct alternatives to maybe sort of vac form plastics um, for, you know, your kind of maybe hoovers and industrial parts or electronics industries. Um, so that's a bespoke products is a kind of a large area for us. And we also have a quite a substantial stock range, um, which includes a lot of transit packaging. So bottle packs, paint tin fitments, corners, chemical packs. Um, we've done a lot of work on uh, some innovation for cup carriers. We do a two and a four cup carrier for a lot of the um, you know, fast food and takeaway sector. Mm -hmm. And recently we have, we've done a bit of innovation on a splittable cup carrier, which is a great product for us. And one that we have you know, intentions of pushing a lot into the market over the coming year. So um, yeah, we do, we do a large variety of products and, and it's split up between either corrugated or, or molded fibre. Mm -hmm. Excellent, uh, very good. And, and we, we at the Packup, we're rather obsessed with uh, the latest packaging innovations. And do you have uh, a particular one, a particular initiative that you can maybe share with us today? Yeah, I mean, so the, the, the two kind of bigger ones for us, as I said, is the, is the molded um, pulp cup carriers, the, the splittable carrier. Um, which is designed basically to reduce the, the need for a, for a customer to stop both the two and the four. They basically just have to stop what is effectively a four cup carrier and then it splits down the middle and, and turns into a two. So uh, it, it reduces unit costs, it, um, reduces the amount of space that is required for each store to, to hold the product and um, it reduces the space in the back of a truck so there's lots of really crucial benefits to to managing to reduce from two skews down to one mm -hmm. um, and product that our design guys internally have been working on for a, for a number of years and we've we've now we've now developed it into the product which were which were launched about maybe eight months ago um, so that's a, a great product for us the other piece of kind of great innovation that we're working on um, or have worked on is our clinker range um, mm -hmm. which is um, designed as a direct alternative to the sort of air sacks polystyrene um, bubble bags um, void fill all these sort of single-use plastic products for um, e corner shipment of wine um, you know that's a huge in the UK it's a huge sector it's a huge sector in Europe as well but more and more people are deciding to get their their wine their spirits delivered to the house and you know through Covid under lockdown you know we've seen a huge increase in this sector where people are are limited to um to obviously enjoying their meal and their, and their evening drink in the house they can't go to the restaurants and the bars at the moment um, and the clinker pack is designed really to, to offer um, manufacturers and distributors of alcohol to, uh, to distribute their products without having to use unsustainable packaging materials. Um, so, so those two are great products that we've spent a lot of time working on recently um, and we've launched them into the market and we're getting ridiculously great feedback on them and, and the beauty of them is that, you know that certainly with the clinker it takes away the reliance on plastic but it also frees up um, frees up the, the sort of thinking process with the end user when they open up a pack of wine whether it's a single or a six pack of, of bottles of wine they don't have to decide which bin the, the polystyrene goes into or the airbag or whatever it may be, they quite quickly see that it's a, a paper product and it can mm -hmm. go straight into recycling. So it's something that's been fantastic for us and we're very proud of. Excellent, thank you. Um, you mentioned about this the change in the produce aisle moving from sort of plastic-based packaging to, to solutions uh, that go and do. What, what other sort of packaging trends are, are you sort of seeing in the market? Well, I mean, one of the biggest ones at the moment, um, or it's, it's going to hit as the, as the, and you'll be aware of, is the, um, the, the packaging tax, which is going to land in the next kind of 12 to 18 months. Um, there has been a huge increase um, in demand, and it's, and it's driven by, by customers to, to, to strip out plastic where we can. Um, so, you know, replacing our pet trays with moulded pulp for fruit, um, replacing polystyrene fitments for paint mm -hmm. tins, um, replacing air sacks, which are first of all manufactured and delivered from the Far East, which is a detrimental effect on the environment. But then, secondly, the tertiary, the second aspect of that is the fact that 
as a product which has to be um, recycled at great cost and um, you know, so, so what we what we've discovered with so many of the products that we manufacture is that they, you know, they're perfect alternatives to single use plastic. And and when when the plastic tax does hit, hit which is going to be in, you know, as I said, in about eighteen months' time, there's there's going to be such a demand, um, rightly, for manufacturers and distributors to reduce where they can the reliance on these products. Um, and we are, you know well well situated to offer alternatives based on that excellent thank you very much kenneth a very enjoyable conversation i certainly feel i know more about you and and uh, and column packaging as a as a consequence of that so how um finally how it's the best way for people to get in contact with you and uh, find out more more about uh, column packaging so if you have a look at our website we've got a fantastic website we basically rebranded our company about a year ago mm -hmm. um we used to be Cullen Packaging, we're now Cullen. Uh, we've got a great website. Um, you go to cullen.co.uk, you'll have a look at it. It's got all of our um, products and all the sort of examples of um, corrugate that we manufacture, as well as everything that we do in molded fiber, um, whether it's our bottle packs, our paint fitments, our cup carriers, you know, our corners, all those sort of products. Um, we've got great examples of um, bespoke, you know, bespoke products that we do. So, if you have a look at our website, that's fantastic. We we're on LinkedIn, both as a company and myself, either Cullen or Kenneth Barr, um, and uh, we're also very active on on this sort of the other more kind of personal networks, whether it's Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. So you can get a lot of access to our products, um, our images, and and really what we can do. Um, and my email direct is Kenneth at Cullen .co .uk. So if anyone is interested by our products, by the bottle packs or whatever it may be, then they're more than welcome to contact me directly. And apart from Cullen, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Right.